You guys probably read the title of this video and are thinking, how the heck did he get this inspected Chevy Square Body for 400 bucks? Well, let me tell you, there's a lot more to this story than me just buying a, this truck for $400. And if you have a good memory, you'll actually remember that I previously owned this truck and sold this truck for $5,000. So if you want to know how I got it back for 400 bucks, you better watch the whole video. So this is kind of a crazy video and probably one of the craziest things that's happened to me, but uh, for legal reasons I can't share everything. Anyway, we got me and Uncle Harry, we're headed down to a, a town in New Hampshire somewhere, or maybe it's Vermont, who knows, I'm not going to tell you. But basically I got a call from a police officer and for some legal reasons the Chevrolet K10 that I sold uh, still belongs to me. Uh, however, we don't know where the keys to it are, so it got towed to an impound lot, but they don't have the keys. Basically, me and Uncle Harry are going right now to a hardware store. We're going to buy a screwdriver, a hammer, uh, and vice grips. I'm going to try to break into it and break the ignition locks under loose, and hopefully we can drive home. If I can't, then I'll have to head back again and get my trailer and come back and then pay f uh, and then tow it back. But I just got to get to the uh, the impound lot first so I can pay for the fines that the that it has acquired somehow. I probably can't share how it did it yet, just for. Like I said, legal reasons, but uh, let's go ahead and try to break into this truck. So we just stopped at Aubuchon's, or however you pronounce it. Now we're going to get to the, the impound lot and see if we can uh, work something out. I bet. So this is the truck back in the yard. Here it is in the yard. We're going to actually first try to call Geico and see if they have any, any way to get it out. It's in a lot worse shape than when I left it because the guy took off these cab corners that were riveted on and everything. A flash hurricane just hit. That ain't gonna stop us. Here's my tools. Vice grips, hammer. We're gonna see what we can do. So far guys is I just stuck this screwdriver in and banged it with a hammer and then twisted it with my vice grips and I have ignition, but I don't have the starter. But I think that's ignition, so I might uh, get under there and jump the solenoid. Under here, I'm gonna try to jump the solenoid. We'll see if this works. Ugh. If I can find a damn starter. Boom! So I'm gonna have my uncle give it a little bit of, uh, a little bit. Of, actually, no. I'll do it myself, so you guys can keep recording or keep seeing it. But I think we might have ignition. I'm gonna give it some gas. We're gonna see if we can start this bad girl. That was like Have to check for spark. I'll give it one more pump or so, but it might not be sparking. It's got to have some gas down in the carb now. I don't know. We'll see. No, I can't find the two posts to connect. Who knows what I did last time? Woo! Woo Holler, baby! What do you think of that, Oh, yeah! Woo! Yeah, yeah. We need some key! We need some key! That sounds good. That's about a 30% chance she'll make it home, but we're gonna try. <laughs> Guys, if you remember how this truck used to run, it used to blah, 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 blah. It used to be real loud. It's actually running a lot better now. I bet he got rid of the cherry bombs or something. Just to clear things up, no, I'm not robbing my truck from a, a yard. It is legally mine, and I'm, I paid all the fines that uh, it had acquired, and so I get to take it back. Who'd have thunk that I would have actually been able to hotwire this with a screwdriver? 
I'm gonna take it out just so that it doesn't actually turn off while I'm driving. But uh, damn, it started up. <laughs> it actually runs really well and doesn't have that exhaust leak that it had before. I mean, listen, runs good now. She is running down the road, guys. Wow, look at that. So we're stopped at this gas station. I gotta give it some gas and some coolant. It's running great so far, guys. All right, coolant and gasoline added. Let's get out of here. Raining pretty hard now, but uh, she's doing fine. Temperature staying cool and just running good. Like it should be. Holy mackerel, guys. I think we're actually gonna make it home. This truck is just bulletproof. It's actually running better than what I sold it, I honestly think. They must have gave it a carb clean or something. Holy crapper, we are back home. Let's find my screwdriver, here it is. And the Uncle Harry made it home too. Shut this bad girl down. Right, let me turn the lights off first. Let's do it. All right. So here's the truck back home. Um, that Subaru, by the way, is not mine. I'm just fixing it for a friend. I talked to some officers, um, I talked to some officials to see how much of this I could uh, explain to you guys and they just said be as vague as possible and I could uh, describe a little bit of it to you. So let me tell you what happened. So to give you guys a little bit of background, back of no in November of last year I bought this truck for $3,200. Um, it was in pretty good shape, it was a pretty good deal. Uh, it's obviously in worse shape than it was back then now. but. Uh, I, uh, four months later, after I drove it and enjoyed it for a while, four months later in March, I sold it. Uh, the person I sold it to ended up never registering it with the DMV because uh, he didn't have a valid license and I think he had uh, some warrants so he couldn't make any um, appearances or in, in public or not in public, but with the law. So he never registered it. Uh, and then he had an encounter with the police department where he was in this truck and tried to run away from them and he actually ended up getting away. So then the police found this truck uh, and they towed it to the impound lot because he was apparently not allowed to own it and uh, basically to make a long story short I was the last registered owner and since that guy was never legally allowed to own it I could uh, they told me I could come and get it back if I paid the fines at the impound lot, which was 400 bucks. So I went down there, paid the fines for 400 bucks. They didn't have the key, but I was able to hotwire it as you saw last night. And now I own this again, which is just crazy. So I mean, let's look at the truck, see what's been done to it. Uh, the paint, he never painted it. I sold it to him in primer. I said you should paint it, but uh, he never painted it. So it's faded a lot since we sold it. Um, he took off these cab corners. These were riveted on. Um, apparently he probably wanted to weld them better because the originals that you can see are rusty, but he took them off and he never got the chance to weld them on. So that looks bad there. These fenders were replaced. It's pretty cool. The old ones had rust there, but these are now new. Uh, this side as well. This, this cab corner is taken off as well. This one was put on really well, so I'm not sure why he felt the need to take it off, but you know, I guess it was done. So what am I gonna do about it? The bed has a couple new dents, a little bit of rust starting here now on the bed. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to take care of that. Um, in the back there, there's a bunch of dog food. It stinks like crazy. It's terrible smelling. Uh, in the cab, Looked like he may have been going to the laundromat, so there's a bunch of his clothes there and, and stuff like that. Uh, but uh, it's the same old truck. Actually, very first thing I gotta do is clean this damn thing out. It's pretty gross. So I will use the power of YouTube and just snap my fingers. And then there you go. It's cleaner than it was. This is just my tools and stuff, but uh, a lot better. Now let me show you guys something gross because I was working on cleaning the bed out too. So I'm coming to clean out the bed here. There's a bunch of dog food left there. Look how many maggots are in this trash bag. Oh. And in here, oh that's nasty. A lot of flies from these maggots. Hey, Look at them squirm in there. I just moved that thing out of the way. Oh my. 
That's about as clean as I could get it with uh, my stuff. Now I'm gonna head over to the car wash and just spray it out of here because that's still disgusting. There's still a bunch of maggots like crawling around and whatnot. And there's a big puddle of them right there. So let's head down to the car wash. All right, guys, I got our box started up. We're gonna head down to the uh, car wash and get that stuff out of the bed because it stinks. We are in the car wash. Washed it out. Looks a lot better now. Time to head back home now. All right, well now we finally have the truck back to at least how clean I had it. So, you know, interior and batter cleaned out. There's just a couple more cosmetic things I gotta do. Definitely put on them rocker, or not rocker panels, but the cab corners. And uh, then we'll have basically the truck that I had before. And depending on whether I wanna uh, spurge a little more, make this a lot nicer, I, I have some plans to make the interior a bit nicer, a bit quieter, because it's quite loud on the highway since some of the trim's missing. Uh, I might paint the truck a little bit nicer, although I like the uh, redneck, flat black look. Uh, we'll see what happens, but uh, I guess I'll put a, put this into storage for the uh, winter, the upcoming winter, and when I'm done with my road trip, then we can get back to work on this guy. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.